It is time at this junction of human story for us humanity to learn how to experience, exercise, and express no. Saying no from the core, an uncompromising, resolved no that has no doubt in it. It's the type of no that a mother stand in when she needs to protect her child from harm. It's the type of no that a person will experience when he or she is standing in front of an old grove forest that is going to be just cut down. And that one person stands in all their power and they say no to the bulldozers. It's the same type of no that a child who is standing in front of the tank will experience in his body or her body the tank that is going to demolish his house or kill his family. To say no is important because no by itself would initiate a wave of shift and change that nothing else can do. We all have learned to say yes because we live in a hierarchy of power, meaning few people rule the majority of humanity. So their law is the law of the land. And if you disobey that law, you are not going to be tolerated. So we have learned even through our spiritual experience to say yes to many things, even when they are unjust, because we think turning the other cheek is a better thing to do than actually standing up for the truth. This type of no that needs to be experienced from the human form to shift our reality from this integration and real horrid experiences of inequality and war is not a half-ass no. It's not a superficial wavering no. It's not just a plain no. And it is not at all combined with doubt. This is the type of no that has to come from the core of humanity to stand for the real things that really matter in life. And to stop all the happenings on earth that are dysfunctional completely dysfunctional. We have learned to basically accept. We have learned to accept seeing humanity in horror, in hell, and in war, and just kind of stay compliant with it and accept it. It has happened all the time anyways. That's what we have learned. Now, whether that has been our really true past or not, we don't know. Our history has been hidden from us. The true story has been hidden from us because the human history, of course, has been written by the winners. So, what are the things that we need to say no to that will make a difference? We need to say 
no to fakeness, fakeness of humanity, to the mask of compliance, to the mask of acceptance, to the mask of silence. We have to say no to that silence that is choking all of us. We all have things to say. And as I have said before, I want to talk. I have to talk. We have to talk. We have to say yes to the essentials of life, to natural law. And we absolutely have at the same time to say no to the breaking of the natural law. And what is the natural law? The natural law is equal human power working with the elements of nature for the betterment and the beauty of all. Not just humans, but all life forms. That's natural law that everyone has to obey and abide with. We have to say no to the breaking of the natural law and substituting the unnatural law of psychopathic humanity ruling itself all the way to the hands and to the realms of hell. It is time for us to say no to hell. Hell? We think there is an afterlife hell somewhere? You think the people who are right now experiencing hell with famine and starvation, no water, no electricity, bombs dropping everywhere, loss of houses, loss of loved ones, being raped, being imprisoned, all of that is not hell. That is hell. And it's not just because it was their karma that brought them into hell. And it's not my karma, so I should be fine with that. No. We need to say no to any type of hell and the creation of hell. Hell belongs to what is separated from goodness, God, beauty, the creative force, life-giving consciousness, and wisdom. When we break away from that, when we break the natural law, we are in hell, naturally. It's time to say no to that. And whoever that is involved with creating hell on earth. We have to say no to any military power. Can you believe it? Humanity with all these weapons of destruction? Whoever imagined that we will have more bombers and airplanes and tanks and guns and, the, the, and explosive powers than anything else. We have more of that than food, I would imagine. We have to say no to that. Any type of destruction, any type of planning for war, any type of planning to rule over a whole population of humanity. We have to say no to cutting down of our forests, that nothing is left of them on earth. Very little is left of them on earth. We have to say no to the powers, to the ways that our water, the essentials of our water, our air and our food are being poisoned systematically by the same people who are governing all of us. If we don't say no, who is going to say no? Are we waiting for the fake aliens to come and save us from this? No. No. 
No. We're not waiting for anyone else outside of us to do it for us. It is time for us to say no to silence, our own silence. And come out and say what needs to be said. Do what need to be done. And change what needs to be changed. We cannot go to a higher vibration or a more consciousness within the same mundane, dark systems that we have created. That, I that are imprisoning millions of people all over the world. We cannot. We have to say no to enslavement at all levels. Safe slave mentality, meaning to stay safely in a comfort zone, even though we are at the slave level, just because we do not want to lose few little crumbs of bread that we're getting from the top. We have to say no to that. It's better to stay in the discomfort or the uncomfortable feeling of knowing what needs to be done than staying in a safe slave position in silence and in politeness, politeness and in compliance with what's not working for any of us. Look, if something is not working, for any of us is not working for all, all of us. Really, we are one humanity. It is time for us to say no to our masks, the masks of deception that each one of us have learned to wear, the masks of control over each other, The masks of silence. And the masks that all look the same. We are all different. Yet we have learned to become kind of the same people. Brainwashed, controlled, and not questioning anything. It is time to question everything and to say no to every single aspect of the human order that is dysfunctional right now. Saying no to governance. That is be saying no to mind control. Because healthy humanity doesn't need few to control all. Healthy humanity needs to govern itself with a healthy mind that says no to the unnatural breaking of the law, the natural law. The natural law keeps us in beautiful balance with nature, whereas the unnatural law Breaks, uh, breaks us away from who we are as gods living in the body, as consciousness living in our amazing human perfect bodies. The unnatural law enslaves us into our small mind that we only use 10% of. The natural law opens up the rest of our brain that we're not using. So let's say no to the mass, mass hypnosis and brainwashing of humanity. Let's allow that volcanic eruption to happen inside of us that says no to injustice and war and inequality at all levels. A real no will bring us to a real yes.
if we carry on a half ass no about these things in ourselves, we can't really come to a true strong yes at the same time. The yes that strengthens the life and power of humanity to live in integrity with each other, with the self, with the creative energy, and with nature, the laws of nature. Both a strong yes and no need to be hand in hand together in order to create balance. And we have to learn at this time to say no to hierarchy. We need to say yes to our own hierarchy, meaning that the hierarchy of the more, more expanded mind and heart in connection with the heart in each one of us. The importance of being governed by the highest law of existence, which is nothing but severe, fierce, love, compassion, and care. Let's say no together. Let's say no together. And stay in it together. In the face of all fakeness, fraud, lies, separation from the source, hatred, and fear in this world. Let's say no to fear itself, because the only reason we don't say no is because we are fearful of losing our comfort and ultimately losing our lives. But what is a life continued in slavery that cannot be experienced in full fruitation of its beauty and elegance and gorgeousness and expression of human kindness that we all imagine cannot really exist. It can exist. It has existed. We just don't know about it because it's been hidden from us. Time to say no.